because you look around, you watch what's happening, and you're like, what kind of decisions are they making up there? Mm-hmm. They're not really thinking of us, the people, the taxpayers, the the people who go to work every day, or the people who are trying to find work, etc. Um, so, you know, I would lobby Congress, I'd lobby Annapolis, and say, hey, don't don't vote that way. Think about us. Think about this. But right. they never seem to make the right decisions. Well, a perfect example <laughs> of it. A perfect example of it, of course. Is the governor in the veto of a yes. House bill? What was it? Eleven sixty eight. Whatever it was, right. it was it was. Uh, you know, th- I mean, this, that's a perfect this example. Is one of those, Everybody agreed on that. Yeah, this Everybody. is one of those issues exactly. where it wasn't divided, uh, and, and it, it's so lines. few that you have an issue with it. It doesn't fall down party lines, and both sides said, "Oh, maybe we should." Yeah, let's do the test. Nah, we're not going to do it. Let's veto it. Right, and they passed it with an overwhelming majority in both houses. Right, but yet they haven't called for a special session to override his veto, now we, and I don't think they will. Now, we had Roy Dyson on the air, and he, during this whole thing, right after that happened, and he said probably not a special session before, Now, and I don't want to put r- words in Roy's mouth. I'm just trying to remember what he said. Montgomery County doesn't care about St. Mary's County. Um, Garrett County, all these counties, they don't care. So if you go to a special session and before the primary and vote against green energy it may look bad on you even though you voted about prior to but if you go against the governor that might look bad for to the constituents in your certain area like in montgomery or prince george's county or whatever so probably not a special session before the 24th of june i mean that's that's what i believe he said but i'm not sure but he i, I mean i i think everybody that we've talked to from the southern maryland delegation they're just they can't believe it either they're just so frustrated about PACs and this whole windmill thing. What? Well, what? Let's let's uh, let's run through your history a little bit, so people who might not be familiar with you as a candidate, uh, what what is your background? Where are you from? What are you what are you doing? Well, I grew up in uh, St. Louis, Missouri, mm-hmm. and I went to college at the University of Missouri. Go Tigers! Go Tigers! <laughs> are you a Cardinals fan? <laughs> Absolutely. Are you really? Um, oh. I am, but um, <laughs> that's I've, all right. We I tell you though, I've adopted the Nationals and the Orioles here. I sure, love sure. the Orioles Stadium. It's just beautiful. Um, and uh, so I joined the military out of college mm-hmm. and what stationed branch? Air Force, Air. Ura, <laughs> stationed all over the United States. Uh, spent some time. Uh, did a year in Iceland. That was awesome. Wow, Reykjavik. Uh, right, it was actually Kef- Keflavik. Okay, oh, Kef- yeah. Keflavik. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So. How long were you in the military? Uh, 20 years. Oh, 20 years. Okay, so you were in the military. <laughs> and uh, then how did you find your way to Southern Maryland? Well, uh, we retired out of New Jersey. Uh, McGuire Air Force Base was my last duty assignment. Mm-hmm. And my husband got a job with BAE Systems working on the F-35 at Pax River. Okay. And um, I, I gave him some parameters when he was looking for a job. Right. <laughs> I said, you know, Kansas City or East or that I-35 corridor in Texas or East, you know, really love the East Coast. We yeah. both do. So when he got the job here at PAX, we uh, we looked all around the area for a house and we settled in St. Mary's County and we love it. Now, the seat you're running for, uh, 29B, that's currently held by John Bohannon. Um, 15 years. He's yeah, been in since 1999. Correct? Good long run. When he was appointed, right. Uh, <laughs> and uh, and uh, so he's been in there. What, okay. Listen, I know John. He's a good guy. What What are you What are you bringing to the table? What, what do you the think that he's differences? What uh, do you th- yeah. What do you think that he, you would do different or better? Well, first of all, I won't raise your taxes. Okay. I've I've signed a tax pledge. Okay. okay. And if it's not on the website, it'll be up in the next couple of days. But um, I will not raise your taxes. Okay, and what I think about that existing is one taxes? Of the, I I want to reduce them. I want to well, get rid of that gas tax we just passed two years ago. Right. You know we have. Three state taxes on gasoline now. Mm -hmm. So you have the excise tax, you have the sales Sales tax, tax. which is going to continue to go up, and then you have the tax tied to the consumer price index. Mm -hmm. And considering what the EPA announced yesterday, tax costs are going to increase. Huge. CPI will increase. What did I say? Gas will increase. What did I say to you this morning, Tay? Heather said it this morning. She said, I I couldn't believe how much it costs to fill up. I just wasn't paying attention. It's $3.70. Let me say this. Listen, I've made it loud and proud. I, I hate all taxes, and by and large, the government. Um, but that said, it sounds good to say you're going to reduce taxes, but wh- where's the money going to come from? Right. It, what about the flush tax? But, well, I want to I reduce okay, well, reduce or get rid of that, 
and the rain tax as well. Now, as we reduce taxes, if we don't do things like Seattle just did and raise, raise minimum, minimum wage, wage $15 an hour, people are going to have more of their own money, which means they will spend it, mm-hmm. which means their demand increases, which means mm-hmm. more money, more the jobs. Mm-hmm. I gotcha. Businesses will come back. If we have a better tax structure in in Maryland, the businesses will come back. So is that primarily the the the, the cornerstone of your campaign, the the taxes and and reducing the taxes? It is, and then also there's the uh, the constitutional rights like the gun rights. Mm-hmm. You know, we need to repeal. Yeah, you're a big you're you're a big uh, Second Amendment person. You I am. strongly believe in it, and you also you're a shooter, right? You go yes. out. What do you What do you shoot? Do you shoot clays? Do you shoot? Do oh you? no, I haven't gotten into that yet. Oh, Try it. It's fun. fun. It's, it's, it's fun. A lot it, of fun. It's humbling, but it's fun. <laughs> it is. You know, I I have a. Uh, I, I shake all the time. It's a familial tremor. It's, I got it from my mom. Good for shooting. So yeah, really. <laughs> wow. Okay. I can hit a broadside of the barn okay. though. So good for right. you. But I I shoot a nine millimeter uh-huh. and an AR fifteen. There you go. Oh okay. And um, so you're I, a supporter of the Second Amendment. Oh absolutely. You, uh, you understand and concur with the uh, the person's right to own firearms. Right. And and in owning that, we have an individual responsibility to learn how to use it, how to take care of it, and use it properly right. and safely. Right. And But I don't think the government really needs to mandate that. You know, do they really need to mandate we need to get training before we own a firearm? Do we need really to be licensed before we own a firearm? No, no I, would, I would say no. I would say that's your constitutional right. That's but something I mean, you're, you're born with. But listen, you're up against it. Deb, right, you're I up know. against it, especially with these shootings. I mean, another one at Fort Hood. You've got the theater shootings. You've got school shootings. I mean, you're up against it, when, and especially in a state like Maryland, who is so anti-gun, right. at, at least in the legislature. I and mean, you go out to Garrett or Allegheny County, or you come to Charles County, St. Mary's County, Calvert County. I mean, you have hunters. You have, but the rest of the state. How do you deal with that, Deb, as right. far as, I mean, you I, listen. I, I'm You're not trying. I'm not trying to in get, a Democrat world. You you really there, are. Right. I'm not trying to get you to go home and go. Jesus, you know what? I'm dropping out. <laughs> um, but 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 it is a steep hill. I right. mean, you are a Republican in a very blue state. Um, and 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 honestly, you're running against a candidate that is pretty popular. What what do you what what are your hopes here? I mean, do, do, how are you going to get up to the top of that hill? I keep talking to one person at a time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know. You can ex- show them the facts and everything, but they're really not going to listen to you until they know that you care about them. And so as I go out and I talk to people, you know, whether it's door knocking or individual, um, you know, like at the fairs or right. Juneteenth or What do you hear like when you're talking to people? What is, what is the common oh. consensus when you, when you go out and you knock on a door and say, yeah, I'm running for uh, Maryland delegate, what, what's a concern for you? What are you consistently hearing? I'm moving. Oh, yeah, we hear that, too. Yeah. Really? I, I cannot is... believe how many people are telling me we're moving. I walked up to one gentleman the other day, and I said, can I have your vote? No. <laughs> I said, well, why not? And he's like, I'm a Florida resident now. Mm-hmm. I'm just back here to get my house ready to move. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, wow. because taxes are too high. People are moving to Florida. They're moving to North Carolina, mm-hmm. Texas. They're moving to tax-friendlier places. And as that tax base moves, it's going to get harder and harder on the rest of us. I, well, that's exactly right. And, and I, will, I will say that I've talked with a number of candidates on this very subject. And... I don't think they understand the gravitas of what is happening here, because you're spot on correct. If these people who are retiring or, or, or at least getting their ducks in a row so they can get the hell out of here, if, if that comes to fruition, if all of them leave, the amount of money that is going to leave with them yes. can only be made up through taxes. Right. There's just no other way to do it. And when you have a democratic government who loves to tax, what is that going to do to to the the rest of us who can't afford to leave, we're going to have to bear that burden. It's going to be unbearable. Right. That's why we we're really working hard to get elected, mm-hmm. so that we can at least put a stop to some of these policies that are going on in Annapolis. Now, you, uh, according to your website, your father was a teamster. Yes, he was. How do you feel about unions? I mean, since your dad was a teamster, he was a member of of the teamster union. I think private unions are great. 
You know, we have the Seafarers Union down in uh, Piney mm-hmm. Point. Right. I, I was lucky and I got a tour of the school. They're awesome. I know. You know, we, we I mean, you were at the uh, juvenile drug thing, yes. right? Yes. Right. I was there as well, and uh, I'd never been to that place before, and it was it was amazing. You should go ask to get a tour of the school. I'm, I'm going to do offered. it. Is. We've been offered, yeah. We need to do oh, that. Oh, do it, because it was the neatest thing. And it was, all their training is very spectacular, mm-hmm. but what I was most Im- impressed with, I know this will sound geeky, but it was their system of how they track their members. Mm-hmm. They know how far back they were employed, right. what boats they were on, who they yeah, were they for, guarantee, special guarantee qualifications. Exactly. Right. And the kids that are going, th- I'm sorry, kids, the yeah, adults, yeah, the, yeah. you know, they take all ages that go through there. They're great. Okay, and they're learning so- a new skill and want to employ it. I'm, I'm really just concerned about the public unions. Tell me. Tell me the difference. Well, the difference is... The private unions. It's mm-hmm. a private organization. They don't take government money. Okay. They're working with companies, like in the case of the seafarers, they work with the um, the uh, companies, the boats, and mm-hmm. you know, like Maransk and all right. the different ones. Right, right. To train the people, and they've got a great relationship. It's private. It's not taking your money and my money to do that. You know, but in the the government unions, who do they negotiate with? They negotiate with themselves. I got gotcha. you. And it's. Us paying, where's our voice in that? Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, like you know, th- that's a that's a very valid point. I was talking with Heather about this, and it's it's all part of the same conversation. Um, it seems like our national pastime has become politics, <laughs> and and everybody is involved to a, a degree in politics. And I was talking about, I saw a documentary about an environmentalist, and he had a he had a, a great statement. He said, when scientists become activists. They stop becoming scientists. And the same thing is true with with, with union members or, or labor boards. When they stop talking about that and start becoming politicians, you stop being and pushing what you initially started for. And that's what everybody is now. Everybody's a politician. Right. And, and <laughs> right. Except, except the rest of us who are sitting here paying bills and paying taxes. And meanwhile, this grand game is being played around us, and you're spot on correct. Where is our voice in this game? Okay, so you're going to go up to Annapolis, okay, if you win this whole thing. Win. And, and <laughs> oh, there you go. Right. That's very positive, Deb. <laughs> and how are you going to be a voice, a Republican conservative voice in a legislature that is They're going to slash led... your tires. They're going to put sugar well, in your gas how, tank. Are you, can you compromise can you compromise and reach across the aisle? Because I don't think a lot of that, there's no moderation anymore. It always seems to me extreme left, extreme right, but there is a huge section of middle that nobody ever talks about. Can you compromise? I will not compromise my principles. Okay. But I have worked, okay, so background, Air Force. Right. Um, I'm not a pilot. So the... Not being a pilot in the Air Force, you've got to know your stuff. You've got to know your regs. You've got to know how to work with people, mm-hmm. how to convince people that the way to do things is the right way to do things. You know, do it this way versus that way because we'll get more benefit out of it. I got gotcha. you. And it, it would be the same and applied in politics. I, I absolutely can work with anybody. You know, if, if you were to look at my military career, I've worked with the Navy, the Army, Um, people with different competing agendas, Mm -hmm. but we were still able to accomplish the mission and get things done. So I'm not, I'm not afraid of reaching out to people of any flavor, but not, but you will not compromise my principles, your principles. And one of those principles is lowering taxes. Absolutely. Right. Well, I think that, uh, (laughs) I think that's a, that's a a big hill, uh, (laughs) but God bless you. I hope you can climb up it. Um, if you want to find out more about people, how, how do people find out about you? Well, my website, uh, DebRayForDelegate.com, and Ray is spelled R-E-Y. R-E-Y. Mm-hmm. Uh, Facebook, uh, DebRayForDelegate. My Twitter is uh, DebRay2014. And you're all over the place. I'm trying I mean, you're to be. you're going to be at the, the Raiders and Invaders <laughs> oh, weekend. Yeah. You're going to be there. That's a huge event. I don't think people realize how big oh. that event in Southern Maryland is going to be, and especially in Leonardtown it's, this weekend. It's going to be so neat. My son has a little role in it. He's with the three notch players because oh, they yeah? asked, uh, they yeah. came and asked some of the Boy Scouts if they wanted to help. So he's got this role. 
and he, I'm probably going to embarrass him, but uh, good. That's he, all right. That's your job. That's your mom. His, what's his role? What's he doing? He gets to flirt with a girl. Nice. <laughs> gets to flirt with a girl. Well, how, how old is your son? He's 16, oh, soon to be you, 17. You oh, yeah. totally embarrassed <laughs> yeah. him. Yeah, and you have a daughter, correct? I do. She's 13. And, 13. Uh, right. God, mom, I can't believe you said that. Oh, I know. I'm going to hear it tonight. Yeah. I love it. That's so, all right. Listen, I encourage people to check out your website. Um, again, you are running against uh, John Bohanna. Both of you are running unopposed. So yes. Mm-hmm. Obviously, so that's, you're gonna that's meet gonna up the, in November. Yes, and and I know you've you've talked with John many times, and you know, a full disclosure, I like John very much. Um, wh- again, what 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 are you bringing to the table that you is different you, than different, or you don't think that John is doing a good enough job at? Well, um, I don't think he's representing us well, and that's why I've stepped up to run. Okay, you know, we look at you can look at the gay marriage vote, you can look at the uh, how he did not. Um, I don't know if you want to say support or if he did not uh, actively defend our right on the Second Amendment, Mm -hmm. Um, raising taxes, uh, the abortion issue, you know, when uh, it was proposed during the budget session to Mm -hmm. uh, not pay for late term abortions and he defended paying for late term abortions. Okay. Those. Those are I'm things. on the opposite side of the aisle on that. Okay. So there, there is a significant difference between the two of us and our philosophies of government. Well, listen, good luck to you. Uh, check out the website again is? Uh, DebRayForDelegate.com. Okay. okay. Check it out. Find out about her and uh, go out there and cast your vote. Deb, thanks for coming in today. Oh, we appreciate it. Thank you thank so you. much. It was thank great. You. Thank you. All right, 724. got to get a check of traffic. This traffic.